Alright folks, this is the Pitching Ace 88 and we are now in Angel's Corner. Um, if, as most, most of you might not have heard, but if any of you guys are sports fans, you definitely have heard the news. But you got Pujols to the Angels for 10 years, $250 million. And I'm going to tell you the reasons why it's a good deal. Um, it's a good deal, one, because if you look at the teams that were pursuing him, the Marlins, Cubs, and Cardinals, all of them ended up being National League teams. So if you're talking a 10-year deal with no, no trade clause, which was being thrown out there, uh, you have seventh year, you know, he might be declining a little bit, but you still want his bat. So luckily in the American League, you can always just DH him. So, you know, we, we'll get pool holes from year one to six or seven at first base, and then if he ever declines in terms of his movement and stuff, we just still get his bat, and he can basically be like Big Poppy on the Boston Red Sox. Reason number one, I'm really excited. I woke up today, I'm stoked. This is great news. Been an Angel fan since I was, since I was born, basically, 88. 88 was the first Angel fan. They sucked in the beginning. It's okay. I still love them. Their ticket prices were cheap. It was amazing to go to their games. Then they won the World Series. Ticket prices got jacked up. They started spending more. Can't go to as many games. Still love the team. Whew. Okay, so it's reason number one, it's an, it's an American League team. It makes a good deal. Reason number two is that the Angels were in the in the coming up of a deal with T, with TV, I believe, Fox Sports Net, and their deal after signing Pujols reportedly jumped from a fifty million dollar deal to a hundred and fifty million dollar deal. So if you think about that, that the Angels just by signing Pujols made up a hundred million dollars of his contract. So that really means that just because of Pujols. Um, they're really signing them for 10 years, $150 million. Now, other teams really couldn't offset a lot of that uh, money because they didn't have a TV deal coming up. But, you know, when you're talking to TV executives, you got to have a draw. Well, they signed him, and the deal's reported. They don't know if they're going to get $150 million from this deal from Fox, but I can assure you down in Southern California, um, every person I know at least in on like Facebook and stuff, it's just blowing up Facebook. Everyone is super excited. I've not seen one person that says, oh, this has been a bad move. Um, and then I have a lot of my friends from when I was back in Oklahoma, dude. They're so pissed because Pools isn't coming back. But you know what? Sorry, guys. We won't, We took him. Um, this would be. I'm trying to relate this to soccer because I know a lot of you guys like soccer. I don't. But it would. I think it'd be like that Cristiano Ronaldo or whatever, just leaving his current team going to another big team. I don't know what the big team is there. Um, but not even a big team. Just a a, a kind of a big player. Uh, this is huge, too, because we've got a lot of Dodger fans down in Southern California, and even the Dodger fans on Facebook that I'm friends with are going, dude, Pujols is legit. Like, I'm going to go to some Angel games just because Pujols is playing there. So uh, that's also exciting. I mean, think about uh, T-shirt sales. I mean, the draws. I already go to a lot of Angel games as it is. But now, I mean, I used to go just w trying to watch the pitching because we used to have a good pitching staff, and we still do. You know, we're, we're still in the mix for C.J. Wilson. But... Now I can go and every single day see a guy as good as Pujols, at least for the first five years. I mean, it's just great news. There's so many people that aren't. I mean, we're going to literally, I think, sell out the stadium, at least in the first couple of years, easy. We already did a decent job of selling them out. No, Not everyone would show up because it's Southern California, but we would at least uh, sell them out. So... Uh, TV deals good, and then and then for a lot of you guys who don't know baseball, um, I'm sorry, but this guy is basically like, he's a first ballot Hall of Famer without a doubt, one of the best first basemen um, in our current era. Uh, there's and he hasn't had the use of steroids, which uh, again I, I no one really knows. Um, I'm gonna say no on him because I know I've seen guys that are are like him at least build wise, and I've played with them. And they've actually not taken steroids. They just worked out like a mother. And it's just ridiculous how much they work out. I remember this one guy. Um, I won't say his name. But he was on our team. And he didn't take anything other than like muscle milk and stuff like that. And he just worked out like eight, six hours a day. It was absolutely ridiculous. Um, uh, so that was crazy. But dude, think of our, think of our, uh, the way that we're going. I mean, we have... Um, we just signed Chris Iannetta for for catcher, which is great. We can have Hank Conger backing him up for whenever Hank Conger decides that he wants to, you know, play catcher a little bit better. 
because um, his defense isn't so good. And then he hit really well, but then it declined a little bit. He just needs to get better and be more mature. We got Albert Pujols at first base. We got Howie Kendrick, who's an All Star at second base, continue to be an All Star. Him and Robinson Cano are going to be the best two second basemen in the league for a few years. You have Eric Ibar, Masir Turris is at shortstop. More I Eric Ibar, but Masir Turris to be more of a pl platoon player, give guys rest every now and then. And they're also talking about getting Trumbo to play third base. And back when I was, uh, Trumbo went to Villa Park, which is actually right around here, um, and I played against him. And he originally was a third baseman pitcher. Uh, in a high school. So he knows how to play the position. He just hasn't done it in a while. So after this move, I guarantee you the Angels are going to tell him, hey, dude, play, play winter ball. Get a lot of work in at third base because that's where you're going to be. Um, so you got that stacked infield. And then you got outfielders. You know, you got Hunter. You got Wells. Uh, hopefully Wells does better this year, which I believe he will. Um, and then you got Trout, uh, who's a stud out there. And then there was a there was another guy that was that was coming up. Maybe you guys can tell me, but it was we have another good outfielder coming up from the minors. And then next year, when Tory Hunters and uh, Bobby Abreu's contracts get up, we can get those out, get the two new guys in, and have them doing really well. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be insane. And, the, and another reason that this was good was the fact that you know this has always been a Dodger city. I mean, everyone you know here loves the Dodgers because they've been around and they've been good for a really long time. But because of the Frank McCourt thing and then the Brian Stowe case, they haven't been doing very well. Uh, so there's going to be so many people that were Dodger fan, like Dodger Angel fans, but more Dodger fans, starting to jump on the Angels bandwagon just because they want to see pools. And, and I mean, the, the, I can't stress enough to how much like the benefits were in terms of angels upping their deal to 50 to 150 million that makes a hundred million dollars in there um the no trade clause which is great because uh you know Pujols won't get traded we didn't need to trade him but the big thing for the national league teams were is the national league teams didn't want to do the no trade clause because they knew near the end of his contract they'd want to be able to trade him to an american league team with the dh so we have all of that situated um over here uh I woke up and I just automatically got a great feeling about this. I never really thought about it and about like him coming over here because they never really teased me about that, which was great. I would have been uh, heartbroken if we didn't get him. But now that we got him, I'm just like, this is just, a, and every time I think about it, we just get, there's more and more positives about this. I didn't know about the TV deal. Great news. I mean, literally that makes his deal uh, 10 years for $150 million right off the bat. Then you're talking merchandising. Merchandising, I guarantee you, he'll he'll sell like Tebow does down here. I mean, there'll be literally everyone down in California, even in San Diego, um, buying Pujol jerseys um, in other stuff. So, I mean, you're going to make back probably $10 million at least there. So now you're talking $140 million for 10 years for probably the greatest first baseman out there. Uh, that's $14 million a year. That is a bargain, a huge bargain. And also, these other teams, they were just going to throw away the last few years of his contract in case, you know, anything happens to him. Well, I mean, you're talking now, you don't need to throw it away. He can just DH. So you, we have, and then you also have a legitimate guy that could possibly end up being in the Hall of Fame as an Angel, which, again, as an Angel fan, we don't have very many of them. Um, I know we're a young team, and we also weren't, you know, great, but, you know, we do have uh, some of my personal favorites, uh, you know, Rod Carew definitely in there um, as an angel, uh, he was always good, you know, Garrett Anderson, probably not going to get in there, but he should, he was, he was a good guy, Tim Salmon, Troy, oh, Troy Percival will probably get in there now with closers, um, but it's just one of those things where it, it'll just nice to have an icon. Um, Angels have never really had an icon. They were always like a team. Now you have an icon. And then the batting order. I mean, think about what... And Mike Socia is probably one of the greatest managers. His only fault was thinking that Mathis was any good. Mathis has got to be the worst player I've ever seen on a baseball team. He played five or six years with a 180 batting average, and we still played him because he had good defense. That's bullshit, basically. There's no way that you should let a player bat 180, whether he's a catcher or not. Every time he was up, 
we would make bets, me and my dad, who are huge fans of baseball, whether he would pop up to the infield, roll over, or strike out. He did it every time. I mean, at least other guys that are batting, like Vernon Wells is batting 220 or something, like he would strike out or he'd like line out. Mathis never did that. He was a terrible one. So we got rid of that cancer from our team, which is great. We still should have kept Napoli. That would have been amazing. But we got rid of him. But we, we got in, brought in the new catcher, Chris Ionetta, who's actually pretty good. Um, he's with the Rockies. Not many of, uh, people around here know him. But as a, as a huge, avid baseball fan, I definitely know him. Um, so, yeah, so uh, give me your comments down here, man. This is just, this is just great news. Um let me know how you guys feel, especially if you guys are not Angel fans. I mean, I literally know that in Southern California, this is, place is blowing up. It The news was only about an hour ago, and I'm literally on Facebook and on Twitter. It's just going down like crazy. I mean, it is just insane, the amount of people that you can just see everyone that's waking up, getting ready for school, getting ready for work. Everyone's just posting on this going, you got to be kidding me. So... So you guys, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for baseball season. Um, just absolutely great news. You know what? The only thing that would make it better was if uh, the Lakers landed Chris Paul, and Dwight Howard got rid of Lamar Odom, Andrew Bynum, and Pau Gasol. That's the only way that it could be better. Um, but as an Angel fan, as a baseball fan, uh, you know, this has got to be one of the greatest moves for Southern California baseball. Um, totally trumps the Dodgers doing Matt Kemp. I mean, Pools is far superior um, in any in every way. So you know, again, things to point out: they up their deal from 50 to 150 million dollars on TV deals, as well as ESPN will probably be featuring the Angels a lot more. So you're talking making up about 100 million plus there in in Pools' contract. Uh, you got the fact that he's going to be a DH for us, so he's actually going to be useful for all 10 years as he, w as he wouldn't have been in the National League. And then, too, you know, you just got an Angel team that's really starting to step up their game. We're starting to draw 3 million-plus people every single year. We're able to uh, spend more because you got more of a fan base now. Um, I mean, you've always had people like me, but now you have people that weren't Angel fans just thinking, you know, hey, this is a good team to go watch. Let's go see them. Um, so great news. I, I will see you guys all later. I, again, have to go to work. So uh, give me your responses on what you guys all think about this. This is freaking intense and awesome. I'm so excited. I'm about to freak out. I've already freaked out a little bit. Um, let me know how you guys all feel about this. Uh, this has been the Pitching Ace 88 on Angel's Corner. Uh, over and out, guys.